Let me ask you guys a uh, critical question about wrestling. Here, it's uh, fake. I know, yeah, but here, I, I feel there's a lot of folks in the middle of the country that, even though they know it's fake, eh, it's like my kids. They're they're aware that the scary part of the Disney movie isn't really happening. Right. It's one dimensional. It's on a screen and blah blah blah. But they're still frightened by it. Now, in Mexico, this is a culture that actually believes in something called the chupacabra. The mm-hmm. goat sucker. So right. I believe the sucker's right in the title. I believe, <laughs> exactly. Worst, least creative name ever, by the way, for a thing. What does it do? Well, it sucks the blood of goats. Yeah. What should we call it? Goat, goat sucker. <laughs> okay. Vampires are dude. Next. Vampires are dude suckers in Mexico. Right. Yeah, that was already taken. So the uh, I, I wonder what percentage of people in Mexico believe in the pro wrestling versus uh, these United States. You know what I mean? I, well, I know it's the number two sport right after soccer or mm-hmm. football there, and um, they, I think it's part of their whole culture because if you've ever been to a match, they have. Like little children screaming obscenities at the wrestlers, and old women that, are famous for beating up wrestlers. That's not the Mexico I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's how beautiful. dare you speak of my beloved? Have you ever Mexico been to the Four Seasons in Punta <laughs> Mita? That's not Mexico. <laughs> that, really, the, it should be like you know when they do those things where they go. Right now, our school systems here in LA County are coming in at uh, you know number forty-seven. We'd like to see them up in the mid twenties by two thousand twelve. <laughs> As a country. Your job should be to take pro wrestling and move it down <laughs> below cricket. Like, right, right? You know what I mean? Curling should be in front of it. Like, it, you, it, you know your country's bottomed out when the number one sport is soccer, but, but nipping at its heels <laughs> is fake wrestling. Well, they, you know, the, and in, in Mexico, the, it's, it's not as, uh, as, as, Testosterone soaked right. as our wrestling is. Mm-hmm. It's not like just heavy metal. Homoerotic. Like, yeah, homo. Yeah, homoerotic. Heavy metal without the uh, without the instru- without the musicianship. Right. Um, but uh, in Mexico, they wear masks, and the masks are such a giant part of their characters that like to take the mask off a wrestler is this huge offense. Sure. And I think it was Blue Demon who in in life never took his mask off. Right. Like That's would go to true. go to the store in Barcelona wherever he lived. And right. Would, uh, although that's not in Mexico, that's right. I don't know, you know what I'm saying. Sure. Um, uh, Guadalajara, Guadalajara, right. Punta Mita, may I? Sure. And then at one point, like he, he took his mask off, and this like his face had this like horrible rash, like he like really ruined his skin because oh, it right. never breathed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. commitment. The guys who eat too much pussy get the same thing. <laughs> that's why I don't like, even. I was gonna say I wouldn't. Yeah, I was gonna say that's why. In Mexico, I don't though, they're like superstars. There was just yeah. that photo from uh, the president of Mexico was giving a State of the Union, and in the crowd. Mm-hmm. Was Blue Demon Jr. Yeah, in, in a suit, suit with his mask on. Another thing, <laughs> as a, a, as a nation, you don't want to aspire to. <laughs> <laughs> and my vice president, the Blue Demon, everybody, please put your hands together. I don't know, I think they if there was a masked guy at Obama's speech tonight, I'd be pretty. Yeah, excited. that would be good. Yeah. But they also had the. Be better than hooded, I would, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. There should be a mouth hole. This long as there's a hole to breathe out of, we're cool. 